Now I'm pretty sure that this is why you're watching this video. It's because you need to learn, or you need to figure out how to get this caliper piston back inside here so you can accommodate the new pads. Only on calipers where the parking brake assembly is part of the caliper itself is this a concern. Some uh, rear discs have a drum brake set up inside here uh, and there's no parking brake assembly out here and in that case you can just compress the piston just like you normally would for a front caliper because none of this mechanism is here. Well this is a ratcheting mechanism and it, uh, it needs to be turned back in. Conventionally this tool is used. This is a general universal tool set. It has different sized discs for turning in different types of calipers. These discs mount onto the end of this tool just like that and you turn the caliper piston in. I'm going to show how to hook this up but I'm also going to show you something else. Now me, I've worked on a lot of Hondas and I can't say this was generally my idea but uh, it's a good idea so I'm going to show it to you here. This is my caliper turning inner tool and this actually for me is a lot more efficient than breaking out the other tool. Now all this is is a bolt with a distributor keyway welded onto the end of it. And when I say that, what I mean is, if you've got an old Honda distributor, this piece here, there's a roll pin behind here that you can take out once you get the snap ring out, and you can get this piece off. Weld that onto a bolt, and as you can see it's shaved down a little bit uh, to accommodate the caliper. You got yourself a uh, caliper pusher inner tool. Kind of cool. Uh, I wish I was a better welder, but what are you going to do? It works. Now, as promised, I'm going to show you both ways. I'm going to show you one using the actual tool that you may be able to find at your auto parts store and rent it, or you can purchase this tool. No big deal. And then I'm also going to show you, well, I'm ultimately going to end up doing it with this. Just like we did with the front calipers, we do not want to force fluid back into the master cylinder. So we are going to, number one, we are going to take our vice grips with fuel line and uh, you, there we go, they were stuck together. Going to take our vice grips with fuel line and put it on the supply line to the caliper itself. This will help protect the hose from getting hurt because hose on hose, don't read into that. And then we're going to get our 10 millimeter wrench, put it on the bleeder valve, take our, oh, sorry, didn't mean to show that logo, take our uh, brake fluid recovery reservoir, I like that, so I'm going to call that from now on, put that onto here. And this, this is the setup. I'm going to put this setup back on, but I'm going to show you how to put uh, this tool in first. All right, before you do any spinning on this piston, and this is what you're doing, because these notches in this tool will fit into this slot on the caliper. They will. I swear they will. Yeah, there we go. So it'll fit into that slot and you'll be able to turn it. But before you start turning, I want you to do something. Take your pocket screwdriver, dip it in your silicone paste. That same stuff you use to lubricate those slide pins. And go around, just sort of peel back the boot of the piston and just go around the outside of it and try to get that paste in between all the way around the caliper piston and the dust boot. That's all you need to do. If you don't do this it's possible that the rubber boot here will twist and if it does like that yeah you see it if it does twist up in here it'll it'll bind this piston up. To get this tool in you want to crank this all the way back you want to install this and with mine there's pins that are closer together and farther apart. I'm going with the ones that are closer together. 
and since it's a nice slot, it's usually, it might look like this or it might look like a giant plus sign. You want to slide that up in there. Wow. This one is extended out quite far and I'm having some difficulty. Which is part of the reason why I use my other tool, because this tool didn't always work out. There were certain situations where it didn't work, other situations where it was indispensable. Yep, I can get one side in, but not the other, because I can't back it off any farther. This looks like a job for Eric the Car Guy's tool. This, quite simply, just goes in like that, and poof, you're done. Let's do it. Let's start with my tool and I'll show you the other one. It would have been a real good idea for me to knock this bleeder loose before I took it off. The hindsight is 2020. And with my tool, it just goes into a 17 millimeter socket and onto a 3 8 inch ratchet. And you just start spinning now some of these if they've gone out too far you need to sort of push in as you twist the mechanism inside the caliper needs to re-engage all right we showed you how I started and we've got it in far enough probably to use the actual tool. So let's do that. This thing, this thing does, it, it pushes as it stalls. Wait a second, you didn't move at all. Make sure your bleeder's really loose. You know, sometimes I really don't like it when I have problems on the show, but then other times I'm thinking, what if you ran into this problem? And I wasn't there to help you with a shiny video. Well, here we go. This is what I would do. I'm thinking this bleeder. I'm thinking this bleeder is gummed up with gook. I'm just going to take it out. Yep, bleeder's useless. Bet you want to know how to make it unuseless, huh? There's supposed to be a little hole here. When I get done with it, it will be there. Cleaning bleeder the easy way. You may need to take it the rest of the way with like a, a pick. Go in there. And and it's good to have these bleeders cleaned out because, you know, you're never really sure when you're going to need them. Now, if I didn't care about my master cylinder, I'm not saying that you're going to ruin the master cylinder by doing this, but there's a chance. And if there's a chance and all you have to do is make sure everything works like it's supposed to, why not do it? Mm -hmm. 